welcome to the Pinup America Show. I am Contessa. We have another amazing show for you guys this week. First up, we have Miss Cherry Von Top, who's going to be teaching you guys a little burlesque on a budget when it deals with boas. And then last week, we actually had an advertiser on Magpie's Eye, who did some amazing fascinators, and I love them so much, I couldn't help myself, and I had to do a segment on them this week. So, see you, my lovely. Ooh, my little pretty in my hair. So, make sure you guys stick around and see all the other little pretties that she has. And then we always have the amazing and hilarious Frankie Markstone, who's going to be ranting again. Uh, this time is going to be about flags and photos, which... If you've been on Facebook and any of Latiz's areas when we post our 4th of July photos, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. So make sure you guys stick around because it's going to be really funny. Um, then we have Miss Luna Love, the lovely Luna Love. She's going to be giving some advice to newcomers trying to get into the burlesque industry. And then we have Miss Shannon Million who actually went to Florida Modeling Network's uh, fantasy photo shoot. So she's going to be doing some interviews, and then she also has some photos to show you guys. So make sure you stick around. lot of fun and I felt really comfortable in each of the settings and the photos turned out really great. Hey pit up pals and gals, it's me Cherry again and I'm here to show you a little burlesque on a budget trick. Now this is good if you maybe um, are a little short on cash or it's another good thing that a uh, little trick to have up your sleeve in case you get a last minute phone call from a booking that says we want a Christmas theme or we want something that you don't already have a costume for. This is something you don't have to order online and you don't have to wait for shipping. It's something you can just go run down to a craft store, get and you know make it happen within the day. First let me show you, this is like a nice, you know, quality boa. It's going to cost you probably between 50 to 75 80 dollars. Now for when you're just getting started and you're having to purchase a costume, having to purchase shoot, and, you know everything adds up and if you want you know you might not have the money to spend right away on something of this quality. Um, this is made of turkey feathers and you can see they're like a big flat kind of beautiful feather. It has a nice weight and feel to it. So that's what we're trying to emulate here. Obviously, this is not going to match my costume. So if I got called tonight for a Christmas gig and I wanted to do it my boa dance, that's not going to work. So what I did is I ran down to the craft store and went to their boa department. And you're going to find something more along these lines, which let me just show you the difference. It's like night and day. This is like a little scrawny chick and this is like a big fabulous peacock so honestly you don't want to you really don't want to be you know pro professionally dancing with one of these because i don't know if i was in the audience and i saw a blush perform come out with one of these scrawny guys i would be judging her so <laughs> so what i've done is i went ahead and procured three of these little scrawny guys i got a green one to throw into the mix just to, you know, add a little bit of color and variety. You don't have to. You get all three of the same color and do it, you know, more of a monotone. Or you get three different colors. Maybe red, white, and blue for 4th of July or, you know, whatever. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of grab all three of them. And I'm going to take a rubber band. I'm using kind of a big rubber band just so you guys can see at home. But ideally, I think I would use maybe one of those, like, clear hair band rubber bands. You know what I'm talking about for like little braids and stuff. And we're just gonna basically pony one end. And you want to kind of fluff it back out so that the feathers aren't trapped underneath. And so now we have three pieces. And basically, what we're gonna do is just a very basic braid to this. 
doesn't have to be perfect. I would do it kind of not too tight because you don't want to trap all the feathers in there, um, you know, underneath the other braid. So you're going to want to kind of do a nice loose braid, making it somewhat even so the green in this case, especially if you're using other colors, doesn't, um, you know, get kind of lost in the crowd or, or is really prominent in one area and then kind of not showing in another. So you just Brady, Brady, Brady all the way down. <laughs> Get it on the way. Now on mine, I think my green one is slightly longer. So we'll just have to take that into consideration in the braid. And we'll get it all the way down to the end. And then get it all the way down. And you run out of boa and you're down at the tips. You're going to secure that as well. All right, here we go. We got it. Take your rubber band. Again, I have like a regular utility rubber band. You could use that. Although my recommendation would be like a clear, something that would be kind of fly under the radar a little bit. See, I have this kind of, this one's sort of uh, loose. It has that ugly string on it. I'm just going to kind of loop that one under. So it kind of just that and we're going to again kind of pull them out from underneath the band so they're not so, um, there's not like a little squished part there. And there you have now a fabulous colorful boa. Mm. Now let's compare them because that is a lot more respectable than what we started off with. It's still not quite as luxurious as our turkey feather fabulousness. But this is only going to run you about ten, eight to ten dollars a boa, so it's probably you know about thirty bucks, which is a lot cheaper. You can even sometimes find these at yard sales, the little scrawny ones, and um, I think it came out pretty good. How about you guys? I'm off to my gig. <laughs> Hey guys, as mentioned earlier, we had an amazing advertiser last week, it was Magpie's Eye, who does gorgeous fascinators, and I simply fell in love with them and had to do a feature on them and share the gorgeousness that they have. Uh, her fascinators are almost like artwork to me. <laughs> They're simply gorgeous pieces on your head. Um, this is the one that I'm wearing right now. And, I mean, she's a crafty one, that little Megan. She, you know, has started off with doing candles to stained glass. And she has a love for, like, vintage, like, costume jewelry, which I do, too. Um, and she actually makes one-of-a-kind fascinators. She loves doing fascinators because of the feathers, the different variety and colors and textures, which, I mean, you can really see what I mean when I talk about all the different varieties, the colors, the textures, her one-of-a-kind um, fascinators because of the vintage jewelry that she uses, the costume jewelry. So I had to share it with you guys because I'm in love and I know you guys will be too. She also has some amazing, gorgeous bracelets and jewelry pieces too. So I wanted to make sure that I shared it with you guys. So let's see some of the other pieces that she has.
If you see me walking down the street Or in the pages of your magazine Looking just a little differently Showing off what's up to me They say I'm looking like a lady They say the love is gonna change me But don't be fooled by everything you see I gotta let the naughty in me free yeah. There's a woman inside of all of us Who never quite seems to get enough Day, 
the one of the greatest ways that I can learn to do burlesque is just watch other people. I watch Contessa, I watch Terry Von Tuck, I watch all the girls in Latisse, and I go on YouTube. YouTube is a great, great resource. There are a ton of really creative, wonderful burlesque performers out there, and you just watch how people move, and little by little you pick up on things about how to move your shoulders, and how to move your body, and your hands, and your wrists, and your fingers, and facial expressions, and you wash yourself in the mirror, and, and try to imitate what other people do, but you'll, you'll find that you have your own thing. You have your own way of doing things. You try to imitate somebody completely, and it's going to look like you're imitating them. But if you just kind of work with what you see and change it a little bit to make it your own, you'll find that you're, 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 you're doing right in the burly cute world. A um, couple of things that I always take with me for um, every burlesque performance, these are essentials. I always need these things. Um, always take bobby pins. Extra bobby pins you can never, ever, ever have enough. <laughs> Extra hairspray. Never, ever, ever have enough hairspray. And um, make sure you have good pasty tape. There's, there's maybe some things more embarrassing than losing a pasty, but not, not too many more things. So make sure you've got good stuff. Thanks. Fantasy makeup. Tell us what you've got going on here. 
Um, bird woman and Alcatraz? Have <laughs> bird woman or Alcatraz? Are we going to put her behind bars? Hey, why not? Yeah! <laughs> sounds like it. You know, we got bars back there in this That's studio. That's true. That's yeah. 1701 Ebor Studios, by the way. You guys need to come out here, rent some space. But what is your name, lovely? My name is Ash. Ash? Yes. <laughs> and you're one of our lovely models today, yes. building your portfolio yes. with a whole slew of photographers. Have you seen all the guys that are oh, here? Oh, yes. I've oh, seen, my I've goodness. Seen. I don't even know how many there are. <laughs> <laughs> More than I can get on this hand, for sure. And this one's busy, so. Yes. Exanthia. So what are you doing here, doll? Well, I uh, founded Florida Modeling Network, actually, 1998. And uh, I've been hosting events all around Florida, also in Colorado and Chicago, too. So, And what we're doing here today is um, a portfolio building event where models and photographers get together. And this is a fantasy theme. And they build up portfolios in the theme. We have makeup artists, costume designers, people are trying to get out of the wall, uh, hairstylists, and all of that come out and do the costumes and everything up like really bizarre. That way everyone gets one-on-one -on -one shoots with people that they never would have worked with originally and have a style that they wouldn't have previously been able to get. So that's Fabulous. what we do. We do yeah. it every month actually. Do you really? Yeah, we do it twice a month. So every the, other Saturday. Is the theme different every, every month? Every time, what have yeah. been some of the other themes that you've done recently? A couple weeks ago we had steampunk, uh, we had sci-fi, um, we do the pinup obviously and things along with uh, old cars and things like that. We shoot that often here. Um, at 1701, and uh, let's see, we do so many different things. I mean, we do two two things a month. So it's like, well, what what oh, things uh, do you have coming up that people might be interested in if they wanted to participate? Uh, well, um, in two weeks we're doing Winter Wonderland, mm -hmm. so that's going to be really cool. And then, um, actually, I have it written down. I don't have them all memorized. It's just it's a lot of events to have memorized. But for the next year, we're doing steampunk. We're doing sci-fi. We're doing obviously the, our favorite. We're also doing um, the, the pinup one when I said with the old cars. Um, we're doing a beach shoot. Um, and we have a big beach house that we're going to be working with. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're doing like a tribal shoot. And, yeah. Oh, fun. So a lot of different things. Actually, a lot of different themes. So awesome. if you go to FloridaModelingNetwork.com, mm -hmm. they're all listed right there. You just click okay. on events. They're all listed right Cool, there. and is that how people get a hold of you, yes. or is there a special way? Do you have your own Facebook or anything? I maybe? actually got off of Facebook recently because it was controlling my life. Yeah, that'll happen. So, <laughs> yeah, so now yeah, I'm... Works. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so now I'm basically just doing the Florida Modeling Network, and right on there, I'm right on the top. I'm a founding member. So it says Exanthia. You just click on Contact, and it's right there on the top. And uh, yeah, so Florida Modeling Network is the best way. And if you search me, if you search Xanthia, X Z A N T H I A, a lot of information will come up with my phone number and things like that. Fabulous. So. Yeah, it sounds like a pretty unique name. You might be. Yeah. I'm the only one. <laughs> I'm the only one. <laughs> well, thanks for being here. No problem. We Thank you. We appreciate you. We appreciate the event. Stone. That girl and her rum, when she gets started, ooh, just keeps on going.
going. <laughs> and then you get to see some really great photos and some interviews from the Shannon Million at the Fantasy Photo Shoot by the Photo Modeling Network. And then, of course, we can't forget Magpie's Eye. Cute little fascinators. Great Christmas gifts. So make sure you guys check them out. Great show. Thank you so much to everyone involved. And thank you guys for watching. Can't wait to see you next week.